What's good, y'all? Dollar Tree Hunter. Just got my food. You know what I'm saying? Make sure, once again, y'all biggest meal of the day is your first meal of the day. That way you're giving your body enough energy, you know, that it can sustain the uh, activities that you put it through. And your body can start tapping to body fat later during the day, okay? Once again, your biggest meal is supposed to be breakfast, which is breaking a fast. That's all breakfast means, not dinner time, okay? But with that being said, um, you know, a lot of women come on my program to what? Get their stomach flat, okay? So today, what well, I'm gonna teach y'all is the best tips for you to flatten out your stomach today or sometime within a uh, month, okay? Now, in this case, the best way to flatten out your stomach will be through prevention, okay? Why is that the case? So a lot of women, you know, they come in and they learn that, oh, I cannot spot reduce, I cannot just lose stomach fat, right? But, oh, there's this food that boosts my metabolism or there's this flat tummy tea, okay? Believe it or not, none of those things work, okay? So the, we, the reason why, in general, why the human body wants to store stomach fat is because major, majority of all your major organs is located there, okay? Your liver, your colon, your small intestines, and these are the things that is basically able to break down the nutrients that you're providing to it, right, and give you energy. So I want to make sure that if this is basically the thing that's keeping me alive, I want to make sure that I'm protecting it by any means necessary, okay? That's how your body is thinking about it, okay? And the more body fat is in the stomach area, okay, the more it's able to sustain injuries such as God forbid if you get shot in your stomach or you get stabbed in your stomach. Somebody who got a little bit more stomach fat is going to be able to survive a bullet or getting stabbed in the stomach um, easier than somebody who's got six-pack abs all year round. Okay? So, here's how I want you to rationalize stomach fat from now on. Stomach fat to your body is like your body savings account. Okay? Um, anywhere else on your body, such as your arm fat, leg fat, back rolls, all that stuff, that's like your body's checks account. So when you're losing weight, a lot of women lose weight with the intent for them to see their stomach getting flattened out. But um, naturally, what really happens is your body's going to pull from your stomach fat the very last. OK, you got to give your body a reason to pull that stomach fat off. Because once again, all your major organs are right here. OK, if it pulls from your arm fat, it's not going to hurt as much as it's pulling from your stomach fat. OK, also, there's two different types of fat. OK, so when you're trying to flatten out your stomach, here's how the human body works. There's also there's subcutaneous fat. That's the jiggly fat, the fat that you see. And then there's visceral fat. And this is the fat that's around your internal organs. OK, now. The worst fat, believe it or not, is not the fat that you um, see, okay? Because that helps your body with insulation, X, Y, and Z, okay? Keep you warm, right? The worst fat is the fat that you do not see, which is inside your body, okay? Why? So because, once again, it got a lot of fat around this area. Um, long story short, your organs are not going to work as as it's supposed to. And because it don't work as efficiently as it's supposed to, um, a lot of times, a lot of it could kill people off, okay? Because a lot of metabolic diseases will start happening if you have a lot of visceral fat, okay? I'm not going to go into that spiel today. So, what happens is when you're trying to lose weight and when you're trying to flatten out your stomach, which is why a lot of women say, oh, Trey, I lost 20 pounds, but I don't see it. And, or I don't see it in my stomach. What's happening is your body's trying to heal itself from the inside out. And what it's going to do is going to burn off all the visceral fat first, if it's possible, and then it's going to start burning away the subcutaneous fat, which is the fat or jiggly fat that you see. Like, so, for instance, your pudge, okay? So, that's why you see some people that um, when they're losing weight, they kind of, like, have a lot of fat coming out, right? Like, say, like a pot belly, right? But a pot belly is not really jiggly, okay? That's because that person has a lot of visceral fat, okay? And here's how you basically prevent you getting visceral fat in the first place. You drinking a whole bunch of alcohol and you not consuming a whole lot of fruit, okay? Or high corn fruto, um, high corn fructose syrup, you know? Which is basically coming from a lot of um, processed foods, okay? Now, why are these two the case? Or why these two things help your body store fat directly to the visceral area? It's simple for the mere fact that a lot of people don't know, your liver is the only thing that can break down fructose and ethanol, okay? And your body is lazy. So guess what it's going to deposit that? It's going to deposit it right here, okay? And once again, your liver is right here, all right? So with that being said, when you're eating a donut, a cookie, some cereal, X, Y, and Z, your whole entire body, your part of your face, your toe, your 
fingers, all that can break your down a, a part of a donut or X, Y, and Z, okay? Because that's a form of glucose. When it's fructose or ethanol, okay, only your liver can break it down, okay? Now, because only your liver can break it down, it's putting your liver through a lot of stress, okay? And because you're putting through a lot of stress and because your body is consuming a whole bunch of energy at one time, the way your body works, it's going to store it as glycogen first, right? And that's like your muscle, that's your like your reserve energy from um, carbohydrates or glucose. But then the excess is going to store it as fat, okay? So that's why you see a lot of people who drinks a lot of alcohol, not just alcohol here and there. When they drink a lot of alcohol, they have, once again, like a belly, right? But it's not a lot of jiggly. Um, fat. It's that's the subcutaneous fat, the jiggly fat. They have a lot of fat, like kind of like inside their body. That's the visceral fat. That's the bad fat. Okay, that's the fat you do not want. So once again, when you're losing a lot of weight, right, your body wants to burn off the visceral fat first because that's the fat that's gonna kill you, and then it starts burning off the subcutaneous cutaneous fat because it's not that deep. Okay. So once again, in order for you to prevent that, is from you drinking a lot of these things in the first place. You could do a thousand sit-ups every single day okay a thousand crunches you're not gonna see your stomach get flat because a lot of the time if you're not seeing your abs or x y and z that means you have a lot of subcutaneous fat so you got to get rid of the subcutaneous fat so that's why i have a lot of women they're like oh trey i'm 5'2 and 180 pounds and um i want to see my abs i'd be direct with them i'm saying look you're not going to see your abs at 150 pounds you might have to hit 130 Okay, why? Because if you have 150 pounds, right, and you don't see abs yet, that means when, let's say you hit 145, you're still not gonna see abs. Because once again, this is your body's savings account. You gotta put your body under, you gotta give your body a reason for it to lose fat right here, okay? So that's why having a six pack or having a flat stomach is highly sought after because a lot of people can't attain it because they never go lower enough on the scale, all right? So, once again, key points. If you want to see your stomach get flat, you're not going to get through a whole bunch, a bunch of crunches and a whole lot of ad work. It's based off what you put in your mouth, okay? Two, watch out for mimosas. Why? Because mimosas is literally what? Um, alcohol made out of what? Fruit or a whole bunch of orange juice, which is a fruit, okay? And wine. That's why wine is not the greatest thing to have if you're trying to see your stomach get flatter, all right? Um, and very last thing, once again, you got to, you cannot settle. If you are at a certain weight and you want to start seeing your abs, right? That means whatever weight that you may be at, if you're not happy with what you see in the mirror as far as your stomach um, area, no matter how many ab workouts or how many workouts you do, if you don't see that scale drop, drop, okay? you're not gonna magically start seeing your abs. So if you don't have abs at 150 pounds, right? That means, hey, maybe if I, if I really want to see my abs or really want this flat stomach, I have to hit 140, okay? So it might be uncomfortable to hear a lot of women say, oh, or to seeing the scale drop, okay? Believe it or not, if you're doing it right, such as my program is a fat loss program, you're losing majority of fats. You're not losing your curves. Your curves and or, or fat ass is not fat for real, okay? So a lot of women, when they start seeing the scale drop, they're saying, oh, Trey, well, I feel like um, I'm not seeing, I'm not as curvy as I usually am, right? The reason being is because fat is more voluminous than muscle, okay? So when it's all said and done, once you hit your goal weight, you're going to look curvier than a woman who has more fat on their body, Okay, but because you see a little bit more jiggle, you and because you've been, you know, carrying this weight for X amount of years, you believe that you really lost some of your muscle. That's not the case. Okay, you're losing the fat that's around your muscle. Okay, so once you get it all off, and because once again, fat is more voluminous, you're gonna look curvy when it's all said and done. That's how you get the hourglass shape. Okay, so these the um the tips to help you prevent stomach fat. Okay, which means what? It's gonna help you lose stomach fat okay the best way to lose stomach fat is not get stomach fat at all all right and in order for you to attain a flat stomach it's all diet based okay what you're putting in your mouth okay not you working out all right so these are your reset tips that's going to help you stay snatched all the time not only in the summertime if you have any questions comments or concerns just shoot me a dm okay and if you're ready to get your stomach flat once and for all you know where i'm at all right but other than that talk to y'all soon